rescind. Rescind means to make a law, agreement, order or decision no longer have any legal power, cancel. Uh, what does he mean when he says to make a law, agreement? Uh, that is you make one law in order to rescind the other, to cancel the other, right? Uh, so it is. it means like to cancel, to annul. To repeal, it's generally used with, uh, you see, rolling back laws, like uh, some measures may be unpopular or they may not uh, be favorable to the people. So the government, you see, annuls it, repeals it, cancels it. It may revoke it, right? Uh, order and agreement. It may, it may abrogate it, abrogate, overturn it, overrule it. It may retract it. It may withdraw it. It may countermand it. It may vacate it. These are the words uh, that are synonyms, uh, you see, of uh, uh, rescind. Uh, it could also be scrap, S-C-R-A-P, scrap, write off, right? Write off, roll back, uh, discontinue, terminate, suspend, relinquish, surrender, can be used that way. The opposite of rescind uh, then would be to assign, to consign something, to enforce, to enact. If rescind means to roll back, to annul, to nullify, to cancel, then uh, the antonym uh, would be to assign to enact something, uh, right? To engage, to pledge. They are near on to antonyms, you see. Uh, to uh, pledge, to promise, to begin. Scrupulous. Now, scrupulous can have two meanings. You see, one scrupulous means doing something with meticulous details, very attentive to details, right? A person or a process, uh, you see, which pays extreme attention to details. So, in that sense, you see, the synonym of scrupulous in that meaning would be careful, meticulous, painstaking, sedulous, assiduous, thorough attentive and in that sense the antonym would be careless careless slapdash unconcerned right uh, the second meaning is you see concerned with uh, doing uh, good you see honest or doing everything correctly as it should be done you see you're talking about your scruples right you say don't you have any scruples that is don't you have any conscience so in that sense scrupulous will have the synonym of being conscientious right conscientious honest upright right-minded um moral, ethical, good, virtuous, principled, proper, incorruptible, decent. You see, they would be virtuous, upright, dutiful, observant. And the antonyms would be bad, evil-minded, immoral, indecent, sinful, unrighteous, wicked, unreliable, untrustworthy, atrocious, infamous, villainous, corrupt, lax, careless. You say a scrupulous judge, you see, guided by what is right and wrong. That would be a scrupulous approach, a scrupulous judge. Serenity, serenity means placidity, composure, calm, quiet, tranquil, tranquility, calmness, collectedness, poise, P-O-I-S-E, poise, equanimity. Even the word sang Freud, S-A-N-G, F-R-O-I-D, sang Freud. You have the word ataraxy, A-T-A-R-A-X-Y or A-T-A-R-A-X-I-A, ataraxia, quietness, quiet, quietude, stillness. Repose, they are all what you call synonyms of serenity. Some of the words related to serenity would be, uh, you see, something like lull, a pause, a respite, a mildness, right? The opposite of uh, serenity would be clamor, din, noise, racket, buzzle, commotion, hubbub, hurly burly, pandemonium, tumult, turmoil, unquiet, unrest. Uproar, anxiety, agitation, disruption, they are all opposites of serenity, excitable, nervous, uh, disturbance, perturbation, perturbation, perturbation. Uh, you can talk about the sea or the sky being serene, quite calm. You can talk about somebody's expression being serene. He had a serene expression on his face. Words that are related to serene, words like apathy, that is your indifferent, detachment, impassivity, calmness, numbness, phlegmatic, spurious. We talk about spurious medicines, medicines which are fake, not genuine, false. You say don't give a spurious explanation for being late, false. 
bogus, specious, factitious, counterfeit, fraudulent, trumped up, sham, mock, feigned, pretended, contrived, fabricated, manufactured, fictitious, invalid, fallacious, pseudo, phony, ersatz, E-R-S-A-T-Z, that is ersatz, simulated, artificial, meretricious, pretend, adulterine, uh, artificial, man-made, mimic, mock, dummy, malfunctioning. They are related, you see. Forged. The antonyms for spurious would be bona fide, genuine, real, uh, unfaked, authentic. Uh, they would be what you call the, the near antonyms for spurious. Strident. Strident means, uh, you see, when you are talking about a sound which is loud, harsh, grating, rough, insistent, piercing. You see, he spoke in a strident voice, harsh, raucous, R-A-U-C-O-U-S, raucous, rough, rasping, jarring, stentorian, shrill, screeching, piercing, ear piercing, unmelodious, unmusical, discordant, dissonant, unharmonious, uh, stridulous, S-T-R-I-D-U-L-O-U-S, blatant, obstreperous, loud mouth, noisy, howling, screaming, yelling, caterwauling, squawking, yawping, cacophonous, dissonant, clamorous, uproarious, blaring, blooming, clanging, whining. Naturally, the antonym would be calm, hushed, noiseless, quiet, silent, soundless, still, muted, muffled, softened, toned down, dulcet, D-U-L-C-E-T, dulcet, dulcet noise, dulcet voice, uh, mellifluous, mellifluous is melodious, mellifluous. Uh, you say the speaker spoke in a strident voice. Sumptuous. Uh, sumptuous, I think, derives from the Latin sumptum. Sumptum means wealth, right? So sumptuous is uh, luxurious, showing wealth, lavish, rich, expensive, opulent, gorgeous, deluxe, magnificent, resplendent, splendid, grand, extravagant, lush, L-U-S-H, lush, palatial, princely, expensive, impressive, imposing, plush, rich, Z. R-I-T-Z-Y, rich Z, swanky, swanky, swish. See, that's also uh, the synonym for sumptuous. You even have words like uh, silken, S-I-L-K-E-N, silken, ostentatious. They are related to sumptuous, making a show of things, grandiose, impressive. The opposite would be uh, economical, frugal, Meager, spare, stingy, thrifty, they are all related, opposite in meaning, ascetic, austere, humble, no frills, spartan, plain, cheap, that would be uh, the opposite of sumptuous. Now look at the next word throng. You see throng can be used uh, both as a noun and a verb. Right here it's used as a noun, uh, which means um, a flock, a mob. An assemblage, a congregation, a horde, a multitude, a troop, a host, H-O-S-T, host, a gathering, a crush, a body, a band, an army, a troop, legion, gang. There's so many words. You see swarm, S-W-A-R-M, swarm, flock, bevy, B-E-V-Y, bevy, herd, H-E-R-D, herd, pack, robe, an array, a sea, a myriad, M-Y-R-I-A-D, a multitude, a pile, a knot, a cluster, a group. When you're talking about, you see, a throng as a noun, right? The crowd throng there when they saw the hero coming. So these are the synonyms for throng. And when you use the use it as a verb, the same uh, things can be used as synonyms. Like you see, you can say they flock together, swarm together, or assemble together, right? Uh, uh, what would be the antonyms? You see, crowd indicates multitude getting together one place. The antonym of throng, you see, as a verb, as a verb would be to disband. To dispel, to scatter, to disperse, to separate, to break up, to spread out, to spread, to divide, to leave. Uh, they would be the opposites of throng. Transient. You see, transient is something which is transitory, which is temporary, lasting only for a short time. You see, the pleasures of this world are transient. They are not permanent, right? All relationships, all friendships are transient. They are not permanent. So, something which is momentary 
ephemeral, evanescent, disappearing, right? That would be transient, short-lived, short-term, impermanent, brief, fleeting, fleeting, passing, fugitive, fading, unstable, volatile, fugacious, provisional, something which is provisional. So the antonyms for uh, transient would be lifelong, continuing, durable, permanent, imperishable, indestructible, ceaseless, incessant, dateless, deathless, eternal, endless, everlasting, immortal, long-lived, perpetual, timeless, undying, unending. They would be the antonyms of transient. Tumult, loud, confused noise, commotion. A riot, flurry and hubbub, an uproar, a commotion, a ruckus, a rumpus, a hubbub, a babble, B-A-B-E-L, babble, bedlam, bruhaha, B-R-O-U-H-A-H-A, bruhaha, a fracas, F-R-A-C-A-S, fracas, a furo, a furor, a melee, M-E-L-E-E, a frenzy, a do, a shouting, a yelling, a clamor, a clangor, a stramash, a hullabaloo, a row, an affray, a flurry, a flutter, an outburst, noise coming. But uh, tumult can have another meaning also, that is a continued state of confusion or disorder. If you talk about a political tumult, then it would mean a little different. It would be a turmoil, it would be a disorder, it would be a disarray, a disturbance, an unrest, a chaos, an upheaval, an agitation, a ferment, a mayhem. A turbulence. So that would mean something different. Now when you talk about the antonyms of tumult, when it means simply a noise or loud noise, uh, then it, the meaning would be silence, hush, peace, quiet, quietude, rest, stillness, tranquility, serenity, order, orderliness. And uh, when you are talking about tumult, even in the sense of disorder, then it would be order, discipline. That would be the antonym of tumult. Verbose, you say that uh, using or containing more words than are necessary. Uh, excessive use of words, you see, than what is necessary, that would be verbose. A teacher can be verbose. He might explain the things, uh, the same thing you see in three or four or five different ways, uh, but they mean the same thing, right? So the teacher grows verbose. Your essay may be verbose. A speech may be verbose. That is, it may be lengthy, it may be wordy, it may be loquacious, garrulous, voluble, orotund, O-R-O-T-U-N-D, expansive, expansive, prattling, blathering, babbling, prating, jabbering, gushing, effusive, long-winded, protracted, periphrastic, circumlocutory, convoluted, redundant, uh, repetitious, iterative, Circuitous, tortuous, you see there's so many words, gabby, discursive, digressive, rambling, wandering, diffuse, prolix. These are the words that are synonymous with verbose. Uh, the antonym, the near antonym of verb would be brief, short, epigrammatic, aphoristic, right? Summary, abbreviated, abridged, condensed, shortened, succinct, S-U-C-C-I-N-C-T, succinct, laconic, curt, compact, concise, crisp, pithy, P-I-T-H-Y, terse, T-E-R-S-E, terse. You see, even a word like uh, uh, bombastic or grandiloquent or high falutin, they are synonyms of verbose. A base. Abyss means to lower, to make yourself seem to be less important or not to deserve respect, okay? In a sense, abasing is demeaning oneself, humiliating, belittling, lowering, degrading, disgracing, disparaging, debasing, cheapen, discredit. In some senses, it could be demote. So you have a sentence here when he says here that... Uh, Couples, uh, couples alleged inclusion in the murder has abased his dignity, that is, lowered his dignity. The pilgrims knelt in self-abasement, that is, uh, belittling themselves, humbling themselves, that is, uh, abasement. Now, what would be the antonym of abase? Ab the antonym would be, of course, he says, praise or exalt, right? To esteem, to extend, to flatter. Uh, if you say that, you praise someone, exalt someone, panegyric, P-A-N-E-G-Y-R-Y, -E -Y, that is, 
to praise someone, to upgrade, to lord, L-A-U-D, lord, to honor, to enhance, to elevate, to dignify, to extol, right? That is the opposite of a base. Ever to hate a way of behaving or thinking often because you think it is immoral. Uh, well, um, it simply means, you see, you have uh, hated for something, uh, disgust for something, you detest something, you loathe something, L-O-A-T-H-E, loathe, you despise, you abominate, you execrate, right? You dislike, you disdain, you disrelish something. He abhorred all kinds of alcoholic drinks. That is distested, hated, loathed, despised, abominate, right? Opposite would be to love, to admire, to desire something. You have a favor, a liking, a preference. You have an admiration and approval. That is the opposite of Aber. Gandhiji abhorred violence and loud peace. That is, he hated violence and loved peace. Both the words are in the sentence. The word Aber and its antonym. You see, Aber is the word and loved is the uh, opposite of uh, Aber. The next word, abstruse, it means obscure, difficult to understand, concealed, esoteric, esoteric, right? Recondite, recondite, obscure, arcane. It could be something uh, re she she. See, it's spelled as R-E-C-H-E-R-C-H-E. Something recherche, something rare, something exotic, something rarefied, something recondite, something difficult to understand, hard, puzzling, perplexing, okay, enigmatic, inscrutable, cryptic, delphic, D-E-L-P-H-I, C, complex, complicated, involved, involute, mysterious, impenetrable, unfathomable, incomprehensible, cryptic, uh, something a thought can be abstruse, a philosophy can be abstruse, uh, mathematics can be abstruse to students like me. I don't understand math, so it could be an abstruse subject. So something which is not abstruse is, of course, uh, something which is uh, clear, something which is unambiguous, something which is easy, facile, straightforward, comprehensible, fathomable, intelligible understandable, lucid, obvious, perspicuous, manifest, plain, transferred, apparent, clear-cut, right, distinct, evident, lucid, manifest, obvious, plain, transparent, sometimes shallow, sometimes superficial, right? Uh, you have abstruse theories of space, but then you have clear theories of uh, literature. The next word, accomplice, is a partner in a crime or a conspiracy. Uh, so we have words like uh, an abettor, A-B-E-T-T-O-R, an abettor or co-conspirator, right? He could be an accessory, he could be an associate, he could be called a confederate, he could be called a collaborator, he could be called a henchman, he can be called a co-conspirator. So you say he was an accomplice in the murder, right? Accomplice in the crime. He says not only Virapan but also some of his accomplices were also killed in the encounter. Uh, accomplices are people who support or conspire together. Right? Uh, it's generally used in the negative sense. Okay? Uh, the opposite of naturally accomplice is uh, an opponent, an enemy, an antagonist, an adversary. Uh, that would be the opposite of what you call accomplice. Adjunct. Something generally non-essential or inferior added or attached. So in that sense, something which is essential, which is necessary, which is required, you see, that would be the opposite of adjunct. He says something generally non-essential or inferior, attached, added or attached. So the opposite would be, of course, something which is necessary, uh, which is essential. So something which is added, which is an attachment, uh, which is a supplement, which is an addition, which is a complement, which is uh, an accompaniment, a companion, an extra, an add-on, an additive, an accessory, an appurtenance, appurtenance, something, attachment, appendage, addendum, affix, auxiliary, uh, that is adjunct. The opposite of adjunct would be, uh, it depends on how you use uh, those words. You see, sometimes you say that uh, something uh, which doesn't add, so it's something that is 
subtractive, something which is lessening, something which reduces is essential necessity requirement, something which is requisite, right? Uh, that would be the opposite. Agnostic, you see, a belief that God, the existence of God can neither be proved nor denied. You see, it's a state of doubt that is something which is skeptical, something which is doubtful. Uh, you could have the uh, synonyms as a skeptic, a doubter, a questioner, doubting Thomas, T-H-O-M-A-S-E-S, doubting Thomas, a cynic, an unbeliever, a disbeliever, a non-believer, sometimes a rationalist, a nullifidian, N-U-L-L-I-F-I-D-I-A-N, nullifidian. The near opposite would be something like saying uh, devout, God-fearing, godly, holy, prayerful, religious, sainted, saintly, worshipful, worshipping, consecrated, hallowed, sacred, sacrosanct, uh, sanctified, pious, reverent. You see, that would be the opposite of the word agnostic. He says, um, the increasing materialism is largely the result of agnostic thinking. That is, people uh, doubt the existence of God and they don't uh, move on to spiritualism. Uh, they are moving on to materialism because they are septics. Uh, they don't believe in God. Ameliorate. Ameliorate means uh, to make something better, to improve, to make a bad or unpleasant situation better. Uh, you even talk about, say, ameliorating poverty. So the synonyms would be like amend uh, to promote. You see, Gandhi is from hard to ameliorate the condition of the poor. For it, it is badly needed to ameliorate the effects of the drop. So uh, to make something better, to improve, to enhance, right? To boost, to raise, to amend, to refine, to reform, to relieve, to mitigate, to rectify, to retrieve to put right, to clear up, to remedy, to repair, to mend, to cure, uh, to redress. Uh, they are the near related words and synonyms of uh, what you call ameliorate. Uh, the opposite would be, of course, uh, to make something what you call worse from worsen. He gives you the opposite here. He says uh, mar, to deteriorate, to worsen, that is going from uh, bad to worse, uh, it could be something like to damage, to harm, to hurt, to impair, to injure, to spoil, to tarnish, to vitiate, to blemish, to blight, to deface, disfigure, flaw, mar, diminish, lessen, lower, reduce. Uh, they are the near antonyms of uh, what you call ameliorate. To aggravate, worsen is the commonly used opposite of ameliorate. The other words that I just spelled out, uh, I just spoke out, they are more or less uh, words that are related. Annals. Annals means records. You see that history, archives, record, they are annals. You say, we have never read about such a war in the annals of history. So you have the words records, archives, chronicles, accounts, registers, journals. If no discourse is maintained, if no record is maintained, uh, then uh, that would be the opposite of annals. We don't have any uh, specific antonym for annals. It could be a kind of uh, indirect discourse. So that would be uh, something which is not in the chronology, something which is not chronicled. In the annals of this period, we find no mention of democratic movements. The signing of the Treaty of Rome was the greatest event in the annals of European integration. That is history, the archives of European integration. Apathy, uh, when someone lacks interest or energy and is unwilling to take action, especially over a matter of importance, that is apathy. The synonyms would be coldness, indifferent. Uh, being indifferent, being unconcerned, being detached, being phlegmatic, being cool, being uh, in a state of mopery, M-O-P-E-R-Y, mopery, or in a state of ennui, E-N-N-U-I, Anvi. There may be words related to apathy, you see, like dispassion, aloofness, coldness, cool, uh, casualness, complacence, disinterestedness, disregard, incuriosity, indifference, insouciance, I-N-S-O-U-C-I-A-N-C-E, insouciance, non-calence, unconcernedness, torpor, T-O-R-P-O-R. -T 
the opposite of apathy therefore would be uh, sensitivity warm heartedness prejudice bias ardor desire fervency passion vehemence warmth zeal uh, concern interest regard sympathy empathy so it is an apathy to ignore an injured person in the road that is um, indifference coldness the railway minister's absence from the house in the event of the train accident is alleged to be his apathy towards the victim that is his indifference apprise to apprise means is you notify you acquaint right you apprise someone of something you inform or tell him about something uh, a governor regularly apprises the president of the law and order conditions of the state that is he informs he tells them the synonyms would be less like say inform to notify to tell to let know to advise to brief to intimate to update to keep posted right to enlighten to tip off to put in the picture to fill in uh, you give you enlighten you familiarize you instruct you tell you words that would be uh, apprising certifying convincing reassuring warranting educating lecturing but the words uh, that are antonyms of uh, apprise are to to misinform to mislead you mislead someone you misinform someone you could wink you mystify you deceive instead of telling them disclosing them publishing them advising them communicating with them enlightening them you acquainting them informing them you hoodwink them you mystify them you deceive them you mislead them you misinform them you don't give the correct information you mislead you hide them so that would be the opposites of uh, a